Hey folks, how are you doing? Today I'm going to sleep here at the river bank, at the creek bank. And yeah, usually you shouldn't sleep besides rivers, but I have watched the weather forecast and we shouldn't get any rain, so I should be fine with a flash flood. And yeah, as you can see, everything is pretty muddy here. So first off, I have to make a raised bed. Oh, I just discovered the track. Look at this. Seems like the track of a fox. So that's pretty awesome. Maybe I can get some fish today, so stay tuned. Okay, I want to lay off my backpack here where it's dry. And first I have to build the shelter before I can get out, you know, my, my stuff. another episode of camping in the mud this is not the best bed that I've ever made and maybe I can find some bark and close the gaps between the logs because otherwise it will get very uncomfortable but I have an inflatable air mat and it will you know uh, even out all of the uneven spots Okay, I found some bark and now I'm just gonna stick the bark into the holes. Alright, so earlier I said that I want to sleep here, but actually I think it's better if I sleep with my head here. Because here the logs are a little bit broader and I guess that here at the riverside there's going to be more wind. And here at this side there's not so much wind, at least that's what I'm thinking. Actually, not too bad. <laughs> Pretty comfortable. I just have to watch out that I don't get mud on the bed. Oh, so I have to be very careful. I need to make some kind of frame for my shelter. So this is one stick and it has a fork, which is great. So Okay, right now, while I'm sitting by the fire, which is going to be here, I don't want the shelter to be too deep, so now I want to have it high and make a lean-to, and later on I'm going to make an A-frame shelter when I go to bed. I'm going to close the Cody, so no rain can come in and no wind as well. Okay, that's my camp for tonight. I'm pretty thirsty. Mm. 
Now my shelter is ready, but I absolutely don't have any firewood, so that's going to be the next task. And actually, I do not have a lot of time anymore to pick it up, so that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing uh, until sun is going down. This here is very good firewood. It's dead standing and bone dry. Okay folks, so I've collected a little bit of firewood and I've already laid down a base layer for the fireplace and now I want to go up there because up there is a uh, dead tree and actually in that tree I have seen that there might be some grubs because a woodpecker has searched for grubs in there and insects and <clears throat> I need some kind of fishing bait so I hope that I can find something in this tree. Okay, I didn't have any luck with the grubs. So now I just want to collect more firewood and then make a fire. And maybe I have to improvise something for fishing for the lure. Let's see. Okay, folks, so I couldn't film a lot because I had to get some firewood, which is over there. And then I lost my knife, but gladly now I found it again. So that's a good thing. And now I have to quickly process some firewood. I want to cut through some logs and then make a fire. Here I have prepared a couple of smaller sticks. And now I need to find kindling as well. And as you can see, I have put all of the finer stuff on my bed so that it keeps dry. Okay, today I want to make fire with my flint and steel kit. I haven't used this in a long time, so I thought that I want to try it again. And in here I have my flint and steel. Earlier I have collected some of this grass and now I'm preparing the bird's nest. I want to have the fine stuff in the middle, like this. And now I'm taking my tin and as you can see it's full with char cloth. And next I'm taking my flint and I'm going to throw some sparks into the tin and it's already glowing so that's it now I take out the glowing piece here and this is jean by the way which is a great material for char cloth and I put it into the tinder bundle and now I'm going to make the fire. But first I put back the char cloth into the tin and close it. Shavings. Other kindling. Today I want to make onion soup and I have some bread with me with mayonnaise and pepper and here I have my pot and that's where I'm going to make my onion soup 
I'm just gonna cut my onions into the pot. And salt. Pepper. So I've made myself this stick here. It's a hook basically and I'm going to use it to hang the pot over the fire. Okay, my soup is ready. I've cooked it for about 20 minutes and now I have some honey here which I want to add to the soup. Okay, now I'm going to eat this with my bread and pepper. Mm. <laughs> wow, that onion soup tastes awesome. Now comes the mayonnaise. <laughs> I love mayonnaise so much. Somehow I'm addicted to it. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. And normally you roast the onions with some oil before cooking, but I didn't have the oil or fat, so I just boiled them like this, and still they're so good. Did you hear that? I believe that was some kind of oil. Oil. <laughs> oil. Oil. The fire is burning very calm. No sparkling, because I've only used deciduous trees. Um, I think some of it is elder, and this here is, um, what's it called? Ash. Yeah, so ash wood burns very hot and long, because it's a hard wood. And I have some hazelnuts in the fire as well. And all of them are deciduous, they are non-resinous and they don't spark as much as spruce or pine. In fact, they don't spark at all. So that's, that's quite, you know, awesome because if I had to sleep besides the fire with my sleeping bag, then I would rather have these kinds of foods because otherwise you would have like holes in your, burnt in your sleeping bag and in your clothes all over. And yeah, this fire is very calm and it doesn't spit on you. Now I'm pretty comfortable. At first um, I didn't film a lot because I was in a rush. I had to get the raised bed, you know, I had to set up the shelter and then the firewood was a big issue. And yeah, I don't have a lot of firewood over anymore. So that means that I have to go to bed early today. It's okay, you know. I'm just sitting by the fire now. And right now I'm watching Sean James from Myself Reliance. 
he has a really awesome YouTube channel where he's building or where he has built a cabin in the woods and he did that with only hand tools which is very impressive he really knows what he is doing I mean look at this can you see this unbelievable and he did that by hand cool alrighty so this here is my fishing kit and now I want to set up uh, one stick with hook and line and I have this um, sausage here it's a hard sausage and some bread for a lure let's see if this works okay so I have my fishing line which I have attached to the stick here and now I'm going to take some of this meat and hook it onto the hook and yeah right now it's not a good time to fish because usually in winter time it's not so easy to catch one because in winter they don't really bite as much as in summertime for example but still I want to try fishing but I'm not going to fish actively I just gonna set the hook into the water and leave it there for a couple of hours okay now I am attaching a swimmer to my fishing line and the depth is about half a meter which is a good depth for this shallow creek so now I'm going to attach a string to my pole because I want to make sure that my pole won't get ripped out from the fish okay here I have my fishing pole which I have you know uh, secured with some cordage to the hazelnut trap and here is the cork which is floating and the hook is in the water it's half past ten now and yeah I'm getting tired So this is my setup and now I'm going to bring down the roof. This is my shelter. Alright, now I'm gonna crawl in and I put on my long chance. I'm in the sleeping bag in my freaking shelter it was not so easy to get into the sleeping bag in this confined space Ooh. this here is my poncho my trouser is going to be my pillow and yeah I don't think that I'm going to be cold today because actually it's pretty warm and the sleeping bag is for minus two degrees or so so I'm really going to be good have a good one good night good morning mm. at six o'clock uh, seven o'clock sorry seven o'clock in the morning and I have watched YouTube videos until one uh, o'clock in the morning so I didn't sleep a lot and yeah here at the inside the water has condensed and now my sleeping bag is a little bit wet but it's okay it's not too bad and still I was pretty warm and yeah So I don't have any firewood left, I don't have any breakfast left, so 
I guess the only thing that I can do now is pack up and go home. Let's take a quick look at my fishing line. Oh. No, didn't catch anything. And the sausage is still on the hook, so hard sausage is not a good bait. Okay, guys, so this is it, I want to thank you for watching, now I have to leave and it was a pretty rough overnight, I didn't get a lot of sleep but it was really fun, here at the creek. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram and yeah. Stay tuned till next time.